Warm greetings. Today is Sunday, October 5, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will provide an update on the forecast related to the tropical wave we've been monitoring in the tropical Atlantic, which has just been designated as Invest 95. This means that we will soon have specialized track and intensity forecasts that will give us a better idea of how close it could pass to the northeastern Caribbean. It will be very important to see those first projections because some of the models early this morning bring the future tropical storm or Hurricane Jerry closer to the northern Leeward Islands. So, if you live in Puerto Rico or the northern half of the Lesser Antilles, you should continue monitoring in Vest 95, since it could pass near the region toward the end of this week. In the 8 a.m. tropical outlook, the National Hurricane Center increased development chances to 40% over the next 48 hours. So, it's possible that by Tuesday or Wednesday we could already have a tropical depression. They also raise development chances to 70% over the next seven days. Notice that the area of potential development extends from the north of the Lesser Antilles toward the northeastern Caribbean. Until we have a tropical depression, it will be difficult to determine how close it will pass to the Caribbean. Looking at the visible satellite image, we can see the circulation of Invest 95, which looks quite healthy. Over the past 12 hours, the tropical wave has continued generating strong convective areas along its axis. These are signs of the first stage of cyclonic development. As I mentioned yesterday, as it moves west-northwestward, it will pass over increasingly warm sea surface temperatures, especially after crossing the 50 degrees west longitude, and just east of the Lesser Antilles, ocean temperatures are quite warm. If Invest 95 has already become a tropical depression or tropical storm by the time it moves into that region, it will encounter favorable conditions for intensifying rather quickly. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, unlike yesterday, Today we have a bit of divergence in the model solutions. Some models show a track taking the future cyclone over the northern Leeward Islands, possibly as a Category 2 or 3 hurricane, but other models keep it much weaker, with a track passing just northeast of the Caribbean. According to the latest ensemble projection from the European model, notice that all members show that west-northwest movement during the next 5 to 6 days, except for about 3 or 4 members that track farther west. So, judging from the ensemble solution of the European model, it favors a path staying at a considerable distance north of the Lesser Antilles. This solution matches that of Google's artificial intelligence model, which early this morning maintained a projection where the circulation center of the future tropical storm Jerry would pass about 300 to 400 miles east and northeast of the Lesser Antilles. Now, the scenario changes a bit when we look at the American model's projection. In this case, it has some solutions with a more westward track, where members that strengthen the system faster favor a path similar to the European one, passing northeast of the Caribbean. However, those with slower strengthening take it across the northern Leeward Islands and possibly Puerto Rico. We can see these different scenarios in various global models. For example, the European model's latest run shows a tropical depression or tropical storm about 100 miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles on Thursday night. Meanwhile, the latest American model run develops a tropical depression in about 36 hours and strengthens the system as it approaches the Caribbean. In that run, it possibly has a Category 3 hurricane passing about 50 miles east and northeast of the Lesser Antilles on Friday afternoon. So, that model's track is very close to the northeastern Caribbean, which is why we continue watching its evolution closely. For example, note the trend in the American model over its last four runs. Overall, it has shifted slightly closer to the Lesser Antilles. Another scenario shows a much farther westward track, crossing over the northern Leeward Islands and the Virgin Islands. This is the latest projection from the UK model which shows a tropical storm crossing the region Friday afternoon and evening. Another solution drawing attention is from the German model, which develops a tropical depression Tuesday night and, in this case, shows a much farther west track compared to previous runs, a Category 2 hurricane entering the northern Leeward Islands early Friday morning. And just like the American model, the German model's last two runs have also shown a trend of bringing the future cyclone closer to the Caribbean. So, what will determine this future track? First, we have to see how long it takes for a tropical depression to form. For example, if it develops within the next 48 hours, that increases the likelihood that it will pass northeast of the Caribbean. However, if it takes until Wednesday or Thursday, then it could move closer to the Lesser Antilles. It will also be important to see how much it strengthens east of the islands. If it becomes a major hurricane, that would favor an earlier turn toward the north. However, if it remains a tropical storm or Category 1 hurricane, it could come closer to the northern Leeward Islands. Another factor we'll monitor is how strong the high-pressure system north of the disturbance will be. Specifically, between Wednesday and Thursday, the ridge is forecast to be strong, steering the system westward. But by Thursday, that high pressure is expected to weaken north of the Caribbean, which would allow it to move more toward the northwest, 
So one of the key things I'll be watching in the model projections is how the forecast of that high pressure intensity changes. We continue with a lot of uncertainty, which is completely normal during the cyclonic organization stage of a system. And as we always say, until we have a defined center or a tropical depression, it will be very difficult to determine exactly how close or far it will pass from the Caribbean. For now, it seems the most likely scenario is a track passing very near or about 50 miles east-northeast of the Lesser Antilles between Thursday and Friday. So, it's very important to stay tuned to the tropical outlooks from the National Hurricane Center. And here at Hurricane Info, I'll continue monitoring to keep you informed. If we see significant changes in the afternoon model runs, I'll record another video later today or tonight. So don't miss that update. I invite you to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell so you receive notifications whenever I upload new videos. I hope everyone has an excellent Sunday. See you later.